welcome, 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 welcome back to another mini episode of the Authentic Man podcast. I'm your host, David Chambers. And today I'm going to talk about something that I see is so vital for men, which is expanding self-expression and emotional expression. You know, this is something that's like a cornerstone of the work that I do with men, especially when it comes to dating uh, and relationship work, but also work when I work with men, helping them in their careers and their businesses as well. Because often in this way, yeah, men are very stunted when it comes to our, our self-expression, our emotional expression. Just look at what you see men wear day to day. When you look around you, walking men walking by you, look at the colours that they wear. Because part of our self-expression is the clothes and the colours that we're willing to wear. We see a lot of men wearing black, grey, brown and blue. Very, you know, colours that don't stick out, colours that don't stand out, colours that, you know, would avoid anyone really seeing you. Colours that don't really express who we are. They're just what, you know, it's a simple way. Or if you see a bunch of men on the dance floor, on average, right? You see a man on the dance floor in a club, maybe you see guys standing around the edges, not really dancing or playing it really safe and moving in ways that, you know, everyone's going to accept and they're going to be okay with, right? And then you add to that the way you see men expressing themselves emotionally, you know, if you ask a friend how he's doing or how he's been recently, how he's been feeling, you usually get the words good, fine, okay, not bad, right? Now, in the context of, say, dating, this is terrible for us, right? Because we are playing it safe. We're in this very narrow band of okay and fine in terms of emotionally. And then obviously in our self-expression, we're in this very narrow band of not really being self-expressed. We're not expressing what we feel. We don't know what we desire. We don't know what we want. We don't know what we're about. We don't even know what sort of woman we want to date, for instance, right? So the first part, I'm going to start with emotions, right? So... This is something that I I'm actually work on with men a lot more in depth in my 12-week program, which is happening starting in September, which is only a little bit away from now, if you're listening to this, um, on when it was put out. So the first things around emotions is language, because it's very difficult for us to express what we feel if we don't have the language for it. And often men don't have the language of words of emotions or being able to tie the words that they're feeling, anger, frustration, sadness, with the physical sensation. And that's the second part, right? is to be able to at least recognize the inside of this body, this meat sack, there are signals, sensations that arise in our bodies that tell us we're feeling something. And often as men, we're very disconnected from our bodies. We are so in our heads all the time, thinking, processing, thinking, processing, thinking that our mind is the most superior organ we have and the only useful one we have, that we become very disconnected from our bodies. We feel very numb. If you ever feel very numb, generally about how you're feeling, or you feel very awkward in your body, you don't feel, you feel a bit self-conscious of how you're moving your body. You don't feel like you can feel much freedom, influency in movement, whether that's dance, walking, standing, sitting, sexually, all these ways, then the chances are you're quite disconnected from your body. You're not very embodied, right? So the sensations of the body for the emotions is really important. Because when we have, when we know the sensations and we have the language, we can label things like, oh, I'm feeling a sensation of sadness. Like, oh, I feel sad. Cool. We can express that. We can use words to express that. That's a way that we can start to have more emotional expression. We have the words to use. We have the feelings. We're able to label them, right? And maybe we use words or maybe you say sounds. You know, sounds and words are very similar, but, you know, maybe even a sigh can be a lovely way just to acknowledge that there's a there's a feeling there of, of frustration or sadness or whatever it may be. But we can also express it through writing, you know, journaling. I know a lot of people love journaling. I'm a big fan of journaling as well. But movement is also, and this may be one of the more challenging parts of self-expression and emotional expression for men, is movement. Because it's a wonderful way to process and release um, feelings. Whether that's joy, you know, whether that's like you two fists and screaming in the air because you've you've got a bonus at work or you just found out your girlfriend is pregnant or something like that. Or if you notice, you know, this is a side note, the one place you see men express joy is, is, is sport. You watch a bunch of men watching sport or playing sport or observing sport in a stadium and you will see joy and you will see sadness. But it's as if there's no other place in their lives that they will bring that level of emotional expression, right? This really clear to see. It's not that men can't express themselves. It's just that we feel we can express ourselves in other arenas outside of sport and so forth. 
So when we can express what we feel, we can feel our feelings, you know, with the physical sensations, um, label them, and we have the language for them, we be able, become able to express them. We become able to kind of express what we're feeling. Another part of this is also being able to be with what we're feeling and not have the reactivity that's often there that's like, let me get away from that feeling sensation. I don't like this feeling. I don't like sadness. I want to distract myself. I want to suppress it. I want to repress it. I want, to, I want it to go away. This is also a really important part of our emotional expression is being able to be with what we're feeling as well. So now you kind of got a package there if you can do all those things, right? But the thing we need to do is practice continuously and constantly, right? And this is why I do this with the, the, the group of men that I'll be running for 12 weeks. Every single week, every single few days, you'll be practicing expressing yourselves. If there's one thing that the men always leave the program with is their, their ability to express themselves better because we're practicing and we're practicing in a place that's safe. This is also an important thing we need. We need to be able to practice expressing ourselves in places where we feel that it's okay for us to express ourselves, right? So that can be with friends, that can be with family, that can be with a partner, that can be at work, depending on, you know, what you do and, and, and so forth. Another key part to emotional expression is empathy, right? Which is feeling other people's feelings or having an awareness of other people's feelings. Because without empathy, we're just throwing out our feelings, but we're not always aware of how, A, they impact other people, but also how other people are feeling. Because that's how we can also learn about our own feelings through being empathetic towards other people. And part of empathy is listening, paying attention, you know, looking at people's, just feeling people. You know, that's that sounds probably pretty woo-woo for some of you listening, right? But feeling other people is a capacity that we have as human beings. And if it's not something you've been able to do, it's just that you trained yourself out of it. You know, often we avoid feeling other people, right? We're trained into it as men often not to feel other people because then we have to deal with the consequences of our own actions. We have to feel other people's emotions, right? If you are in the corporate world, we often don't have empathy in the corporate world, you know? I did, I was in... I've worked in corporate companies for 16 years and you're not trained into empathy because then you're going to have to think about how your decisions and choices affect other people. And, you know, businesses don't really care. They just want their money. So empathy is a really important part of learning this emotional expression. And as well as is, is also practicing overemphasizing our emotions, right? And this is something that we don't often think about because we can practice at these very extreme places or, you know, maybe I feel sadness and I, I turn this into some woeful, and I mean a, a dance full of woe, dance with some sad songs and wailing and all these things. And that might sound like, oh, that's a bit crazy to be doing that. But actually it gives you the experience and a bit of confidence, right? Even when done alone to, to feel more, to express more. And I, and I tell you, I've seen this with hundreds of men. It really makes a difference, right? So all of those things help with the emotional expression. So now, self-expression, right? As I mentioned earlier with clothes, and this is something I often speak to my clients about, is like getting them just into some color. Like what's your story around clothes, the things you can wear and can't wear? Because there's a part of us as human beings that's like we are wanting to express ourselves through all things, through the way we speak, by the way we move, by the way we sound, by the way we dress, because this is us sending information to the world of this is who the fuck I am. This is the sort of person I am or the person I want to be as well, because we're not all meant to be these beige, gray people wearing beige and gray and blue and black suits, right? We have expression, there's colors we like, there's outfits we like, you know, and that's how we choose to express ourselves. So, you want to express yourself more, start looking at your wardrobe, start taking some risks in your wardrobe with the colors and the things that you wear, you know, buy a hat if you never wear hats, buy a pink shirt if you never wear pink, you know, just to try it out and see how it feels, just to stretch yourself, to expand your range, because this is the, the biggest problem when it comes to expression is we, we're living in a very tight range, but you can do things to expand your range. One of those things of self-expression is expressing your feelings and emotions, right? Which we talked about earlier. Movement and dance is another way because, you know, we feel very stiff in our bodies, right? We feel very like, oh, I can't move like that. I can't dance like that. I can't do that thing. 
And that's our mental way of restricting ourselves. You know, that same, I can't move like that, I can't dance like that, I can't do that, is the same story we're running about our self-expressions and our emotions and our feelings and our goals and the things we want to do with ourselves. We have to learn to do little things with ourselves or in groups to break past those invisible walls, those invisible barriers. And movement is a great way. You know, when I work with Ben, sometimes we do various types of practices that I guide them through so that they feel a new expanded range of movement in their bodies that they haven't ex expressed yet. And then the last piece for, for all of these is I'm going to talk about is actually taking risks. It's really important with our self-expression and with our emotions for us to grow, to step into like a stretch area, is to continually take risks in this area. And the risks around emotional expression might be really deeply telling your partner how you feel about them you know, how you love them, the ways you do, because that might be really uncomfortable for you, right? But finding some words to do that. Or maybe it's telling um, a friend of yours how they've upset you, right? Or they've done something that's hurt you. That's another way in which we take risks in our self-expression, our emotional expression. And maybe for self-expression, that might be, as I said before, something that you're wearing, the way that you dance, or you skip around the house, or whatever it is. But there are ways in which we can practice expanding our self-expression and emotional expression, which then leak into other areas of our lives, which leak into our, our dating lives or our relationships and our businesses and so forth. But if we don't practice, right, we don't practice the times when we need a bigger and wider expression, it's not available to us, right? Because all the things that we want to get good at, we have to practice. It's a simple fact of life, right? As human beings, we learn through rep repetition right? And if you can't just call on demand for certain aspects of your being, parts of who you are, if you haven't practiced them, you know, when you really need them. So this is a short one, um, getting you guys ready for how to express yourself, emotional expression as well. Like I said, my program's starting in September and it's, I've seen incredible results for men, just seeing the areas of like confidence and self-expression, men's dating lives, men's sex lives and so forth that have really come to new levels, like really felt coming to the fore, like having lives that they really love and they really enjoy, or those areas of their lives that they weren't enjoying, they've been able to put the tools from the program into those areas and really transform them into, into, into just living life more, living life better right? And not dealing, you know, dealing with the stresses of life instead of just like um, leaving them to fester, turning their relationship around into happy, harmonious, you know, passionate places. I've still got a few more places. Um, the place has been filling up pretty pretty quickly the last couple of weeks, but still got a few more places. So if you're interested, I'll put the details below where you can drop me an email or you can add yourself to a registration list and we can have a conversation about if the program's a good fit for what you're looking for. But until next week, say ciao, ciao.